In this video, we're going to look at using the strip silence extract function to create game audio backgrounds. Here I've got a pretty basic session. You can see that I have an ocean background clip on a track. Let's take a quick listen. The clip sounds pretty good, but for my background, I just want to hear the sounds in between the waves and not the waves themselves. This is easy to accomplish using the strip silence extract command. The first thing I'll do is bring up the strip silence window. I can do this by choosing edit, strip silence, or by pressing command U on the Mac or control U on Windows. This will bring up the strip silence window. First I'll adjust the strip threshold so that all of the waves fall above the threshold value. Once I'm happy with that setting, I can use the clip start and end pad settings to fine tune the selection. Then I'm ready to click the extract button. And what I'm left with are just the parts of the clip that fell below the strip threshold. These are the sounds between the waves that will give me a nice constant ocean sound without hearing the individual waves. Now the easy way to line all of these up next to each other is to actually delete them off of the playlist. Then go into the clip list menu and make sure that your timeline drop order is set to left to right. Then I simply reselect all of those clips in the clip list and drag and drop them back out onto the track. And now you can see that they've automatically been snapped together. Let's go ahead and take a listen. The next thing we'll want to do is add some crossfades. So I'll go ahead and bring up the batch fades dialog, which I can get to by selecting edit, fades, create, or by pressing command F on the Mac or control F on Windows. As I mentioned in the backgrounds video, you'll want to make sure that your link setting is set to equal power and we'll choose a nice long crossfade value like 500 milliseconds. And then I'll go ahead and click OK. Let's go ahead and zoom in to take a closer look at the results. At this point, you'll want to go ahead and consolidate this selection. And I can do that by going to the Edit menu and choosing Consolidate Clips, or pressing Option Shift 3 on the Mac or Alt Shift 3 on Windows. Now I've got one continuous clip with the crossfades baked in. At this point, you can use the techniques that we learned in the backgrounds video to choose a few seconds of this clip and edit it so that it loops smoothly. 